In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to rank your Google My Business profile. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Michael Tanners. I run a seven-figure marketing agency, and I also have a free weekly newsletter called The Midweek Marketer, where I give away one actual marketing strategy that I'm utilizing for my businesses and my clients' businesses. If you'd like to sign up for that, click the link in the description below. So if you've watched any other videos on YouTube on how to rank the Google My Business profile, most of them are pretty week when it comes to teaching you exactly how to get into those first spots. And I've pretty much got it down to ranking my Google My Business profile in 2025 down to a science. And it does take some tweaking, but I've done it for a couple of my businesses, a couple of my clients' businesses. And I'm gonna go over exactly how you can do it for your business too. The last one is really the catalyst for getting you into those first few spots. So stick around to make sure you watch that. The first one that you wanna make sure you have is good photos. Now, I know you're probably like, great, Michael, this is exactly like every other YouTube video where they're just like, this is how you have to set it up. But this is actually really important to make sure you have good photos on your Google My Business profile. Now, it's not absolutely necessary. I have ranked Google My Business profiles without having really good photos, but it does help a lot just from a customer standpoint to fully understand that when they're seeing your Google My Business profile, they're actually seeing your business and they relate to you. If you're using stock photos or something along those lines, you are running the risk of that customer or the potential lead passing you on because you don't look too legitimate. So people like working with people they like. So make sure you show your team, make sure you show your process, make sure you show your office, like everything. People like working with people they like, showcase that through the photos. All right, the second one is getting reviews. Now, again, I get it. This is mentioned all the time in the other videos. The last one is really the thing that is gonna flip you over into those first spots. But what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you implement a really, really good process in your business to get Google reviews. Outside of only my marketing agency, I also own an accounting firm, and when we give away our tax packets to the clients, we make sure that we also include a piece of paper in there with a QR code to asking them to leave us a Google review. We also have a follow-up sequence which also asks them for a Google review, and we're gonna be implementing in a new thing that I have done with other clients, where essentially what we're gonna do is if they have worked with a specific accountant, so let's call that person John, they will get a text saying, I hope your work with John was really good. Please leave a review on the Google My Business profile. Click this link here. And if you do and you mention John's name, he will get a kickback and some kind of commission. People love helping other people. If you're just like asking for a Google review, everyone does that. It's kind of like a normal thing. Everyone, it's pretty boring. Point is, is that you wanna say, hey, John here worked really hard on your taxes. If you'd like to give him a tip and the tip doesn't come out of your pocket, all you have to do is just leave a Google review on my Google My Business profile, mention John's name, and he will get a kickback. It's a great way to make it personal and make them feel like they're helping that person out instead of just giving you a Google My Business review. Okay, the next one is adding in the keywords properly into the Google My Business. This is super important because Google wants to know exactly what you're trying to rank for. So adding that in. Also, I have found that when people mention your services in their review, that also helps with the ranking. So for example, if you're like a florist in Southern California, you wanna make sure that people are mentioning, you wanna make sure people are mentioning that you're a florist in Southern California and they're mentioning those things in your review because Google will see that and rank it based off of those keywords. Here's the final thing, and this is what has gotten me into the first spot. I'll post an example right here. It's a fantastic way to get into those first spots. However, you have to do a couple things with the government in order to make it happen. And that is the name of your business. Now, back in the day when phone books were a big thing, it's just crazy to think about this, but companies would name themselves ABC Warehouse or AAA Tire Repair or AAA, AAA, AAA cleaners. The point is, is that they knew that if they put those first couple letters, they're gonna be at the top of the phone book because they did it in an alphabetical order. This is very similar with my Google My Business profile. Google wants to showcase the top businesses at the top that match the search term as best as possible. So, for example, my accounting firm is in Traverse City. If I had my business and it was named Accountant in Traverse City is the name of the business, it would rank there every single time. However, I do own the name Traverse Tax and Accounting and that basically has both those keywords in it. And so because of that, I have that profile at the top pretty much every single time. 
and the photos aren't on there aren't that great there's two reviews and it's got a couple keywords in there so the biggest factor to getting your google my business profile in that first spot is having the keywords in the name of your business now i get we can't just go around changing the name of our business however you can get a dba now a dba is doing business as doing business as okay so dba this is something that you file with the government basically saying saying hey the name of my business is sally's hvac right so that's the main name of your business and if you have sally's hvac and if you're trying to rank in an area like you know westchester PA, right? Let's say that's like your location. If you don't have this location here and it's just the name, Google's just going to say, okay, it's just an HVAC company. However, if you are able to change the name of the company to Sally's HVAC in Westchester, PA or Westchester, PA's dash Sally's HVAC, the point is, is Google's going to see that and go, okay, we want to rank you in that top spot because your keywords match up the best. This is going to get you in that first spot guaranteed every single time. However, your competitors, if they're smart, will try to report your business as a scammer because the scam people know this trick. And what happens is, is they don't actually go out and get the DBA. So the point is, is that you want to go and say, hey, government, my business name is Sally's HVAC, but we also do business as Sally's Westchester HVAC. By doing this, you can submit this documentation to Google through the government. You get your DBA and you can take that documentation, submit it to Google and say, hey, this is our legit business name. And so on Google My Business, you have Sally's Westchester HVAC and it's your legit business name point is, is you want to make sure you're doing it legit and getting the documentation from the government to do that. But this is the best way to get on that very first spot with Google My Business. And if you're going to do, if you're like trying to get in that first spot for Google My Business, this is the way to do it. The best way that I have found to do it. So if you are interested in working with my marketing agency to get a brand new website or to get digital ads such as Google ads or Facebook ads, Click the link in the description below, schedule some time with me to see if we're a good fit. And if you would like free actual marketing strategies that I send out every single week on Wednesdays through my newsletter called The Midweek Marketer, it's the exact strategies that I'm using for my business and for my clients' businesses, click the link in the description below. It's completely free and people love it. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and I will see you in the next one.